Hi, uh, I'm Marine Serre and uh, you're here in the 19 uh, neighborhood of Paris and uh, we are here in the studio where we are working every day. You know, Amorfati, Mind Melange Motor and Radiation, all the other collection we released before were kind of like um, alarming. Uh, we have been quite engaged and we talk a lot about uh, how we we will like fa the fashion world to change but maybe I thought was maybe not enough interest into the people that were making it into the making into the material and actually this project is really a project that we made uh, internally so we have almost no external people working on that and uh, and then we decided to really show really the process from like zero to the end. I mean, all the change that we are talking about now, sustainability, inclusivity, and all that, I think everyone knew that before. Uh, it's just that everyone was like closing their eyes on the fact that it was really urgent to react for the planet and for ourselves and for our future. And uh, somehow with what happened right now with the COVID, um, people are worried and they have maybe also more time to think uh, and then now they are starting to change, so it's positive. <laughs> we cannot consume more and we have to consume 10 times less or maybe even more, but we are still not going, uh, you know, nude in the streets. So meaning that you normally have to cover yourself, so I think the important question there will be more indeed about how much and then what? Maybe you will buy less, but maybe you will buy things that you know maybe a bit more about where they come from, their history, what they mean also for you. Um, and also the time maybe that this garment will stay with you. So probably you don't buy for like six months anymore about something that is trendy, but you buy about maybe something that you keep for 25, 30 years. So I see more things like that. And I feel the process also of regenerating something that have been part even of another time you know even just in the you know all the sense that you can understand it is quite uh, for me resonant with what we are living now and um, kind of in the total opposite of what I've seen since I'm born actually where like people are doing new things all the time and they need newness all the time so it's also yeah being also resilient and accepting that uh, maybe what have to be new is the process or um, the way of consuming, but not the product itself. I feel like even in three years, the energy in the creation that I've gone through a brand is like so intense, <laughs> to be honest, also in terms of production, of timing, of of you know all the things that have been created. And I realized by talking to people they do not even knew that we did this or that. They don't remember. It was so much. They're like, oh, you did scarf? Oh, yeah, but someone else did it. Yeah, okay. But then what I'm saying now is that, I mean, I don't care that someone else did it later before. But what's important is that that's the type of process that I want to put in place and that I believe. So basically the book is um, showing actually all the process uh, that we want to keep working with and making sure that this regenerated point of view, this uh, transformative uh, process are going actually through maybe more people. Indeed, going down maybe to the street or being less niche um, and being more affordable. Actually, all the things that you see this season, is not really new. What's new is the process, is the shape, is the price, but, but it's not really new. It's just a new way to see it. And uh, you could have buy maybe this dress uh, three years ago and you'd be trendy tomorrow. So, I like that. <laughs> so, I feel the jeans. Yeah, like you can feel the time. And it's of course one of the regenerated material that is um, actually that is thrown away, but that is still in a really good uh, shape. Uh, so this is, I think, more or less with like four jeans and then we arrive to that piece so meaning that each jacket that we make is really starting from a pants it's a lot of time in the process and then uh, we are also like engraving part uh, of the jeans to sign it i see 
see us more like at the services of people. So I feel if we are still needed, we'll be there. And when people don't need us, we we'll we'll just disappear. <laughs> this season, I wanted people to feel with us somehow, taking the time to enjoy the muse or the family or the friend of, of what is the, I don't know, like the maison or the brand today, I don't know how to call it. And I feel this is where in the documentary we could find, or you can find really this um, kind of feeling or deep feeling, you know, you dive with them in, the, in their daily life, you go in the bathroom with them, you know, you, you go cooking, you go in really intimate place. And I feel it's a lot of um, courage also from them to have trust me uh, and to trust this long term relationship that we all have. And I feel this is a real like freedom also for fashion to finally go to a real feeling instead of like a dream world of uh, shine. You're not alone and I feel we don't say that enough and uh, it's hard right now to be so uh, lonely sometimes. Keep, uh, keep being creative and uh, at the services of this hybridity, this transformation and if you like it you know just uh, you know, share it or do the same or uh, do the same but different and uh, just feel free, I always said, about uh, breaking boundaries because if I will have been shy, I will never have done that, so... The fact that I see uh, things moving, um, also in like things that are uh, moving in action because I think a lot of people and we are all uh, talking a lot what gives me hope is that, is that the door are open and that we can um, maybe, yeah, like see new way. I, I mean, there I'm talking for fashion, but I think also for the world and um, yeah, and trying to be as resilient as we can.